Hi folks, I uh, hope you're okay today. Um, just want to share that. I woke up this morning and um, I thought to myself, I, uh, I'll just try and look at things from an atheist perspective. So I imagine that I was an atheist and I tried to doubt my Christian faith. I thought, right, I'll completely just imagine the Christian faith is not not correct or, or uh, is not an option then and then just sit down and see where that goes so I did it and I thought it, it, atheism cannot logically be correct it cannot logically be right it just can't logically be correct because it means that something came from nothing which is impossible the universe came from nothing which is impossible and don't give me the Krauss oh well nothing is, is not nothing don't give me the Krauss stuff <laughs> nothing can come from nothing non-being cannot, cannot just come out of, the, out of the bag being sorry cannot come out of non-being then the historical flow, uh, I, I, I really believe 100% evolution is not true. It just can't be true. It just can't be true. Uh, uh, it's just logically imp an impossible. It's an impossibility. Um, honestly, uh, it's just logically impossible. Um, but and on on. The reason why it's logically impossible is because um, something had to start it in the first place, and it couldn't have been nature. It couldn't have been nature that started the process in the first place. Nature hasn't got. Nature is not eternal. Nature hasn't eternal power. So somewhere along the line, something had to have started it off couldn't have been nature itself unless you say nature is eternal and uh, I don't think nature is eternal um, from our scientific knowledge that we know there was a beginning to the universe so you know that evolution could not have happened unless there was uh, an intelligent designer who kicked it off it's as simple as that so that evolution is impossible and then the implications of atheism just don't make sense means that we, we, we don't mean anything in the universe it means everything's pointless um, it, it's just bleak and dark Um, then I come back to Christianity after I did that after I thought about atheism I came back to Christianity and I thought well there are difficulties like you keep bringing up the Old Testament difficult passages in the Old Testament and um, the doctrine of hell is not an easy thing But the one great proof and strength that I can say, well, that this is true, is Christ. You know, it is Christ. It is Jesus Christ. The fact that you can believe in Him, find peace, find comfort and find strength Christ is alive and I believe that he really lived I believe that he was really the son of God I believe that he rose from the dead and when he says uh, come unto me all you were heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon me and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light 
I believe trusting in Christ is a reality and it's more concrete reality than atheism so that's someone today who tried to look at it from an atheist point of view and I couldn't get away from the fact of Christ that he is real and the reality of him his claims and who he is stand above everything else and that's just honest so take care uh, I'll see you in a couple of days we'll have a break for a couple of days take care, God bless please let me know what you